Go. Hey guys, like I said, I was gonna do this um, video on this new flower petal style that I, I created. I haven't made this flower, so I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, so let's just hope it comes out perfect. Okay, so I've already prepared all my petals to make the video go faster, but the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna curl your um, your petals. You're gonna, I use a bone folder. I like doing the bone folder, to me it works better. On the smaller petals, the larger ones, I would use a glue stick or anything round would work. So once you do that, you're just gonna apply a little bit glue on the edge there and then just overlap it just not a whole lot just a little bit um just so it can sit up okay so we're going to start with the larger petal first and i'm just going to glue you know not a whole lot because if you mess up then you can always just pull it off if you just put a little bit and then just start going in a circular motion just a little on on the edge i'm just overlapping them and it looks like this one's going to make a huge flower. And for this one, I cut out seven petals. It looks like seven petals is probably going to be perfect. And then the last one, you're just gonna go over and under. And just a little bit glue there. And then see how it's over and under. So then once that's all done, then you wanna get your circle. See, I ran out of glue. I'm gonna turn it over and just press it down. And this is where you want to maybe reinforce it if there's you you've got areas sticking up or you didn't put enough glue. So once that's done, then you're gonna get your next layer and you're gonna just put a little bit, sorry about the mess, so glue there and go between each petal, layer between each petal. And again, these were already done. I did them beforehand so we didn't have to sit here. And just continue to go around. And this one, again, the last one's gonna go over on top of that one and under that one. And then this is why I will go back and add a little bit glue gun on the spot set. We're sticking up. And that's your second layer. Now we're going to do the third layer and we're going to do it the same exact way. A little bit of glue.
then back to reinforcing it and just And then to cover all the ugliness up, I have pre-cut some circles. And I just glue them down. And that kind of makes your flower a little bit stronger, not so floppy. And there's that one. And I'm gonna put one more small layer so this particular flower, I'm doing four layers of petals. So I cut four different sizes. And on this one, I didn't cut the biggest petal. I cut the second biggest petal and then went down from there. I did the second biggest. And then the third and then the fourth. And then the last one was the... Um, smallest petal for the middle. And I'm really liking this flower. And the last one we're going to put over that. And the only reason why I do just a little bit of glue and then go back is because if I have to make any adjustments or move it or anything, it's easier to pull off with less glue. And then I just go and make sure all the petals are down. And there's your flower without the center. Now I'm gonna do the centers. And this is how I cut them. I just get two sheets of paper, fold it in, or cut it in half, and then uh, do slats in between each. I fold them over, put a little bit of glue. You don't need to put a whole lot, just up. Okay, so once that's done, then I use my bone folder to kind of give it a curl to make it easy to roll, because I'm gonna roll these. We'll start with a glue stick or something small just to get it started. Pull, pull it out, put a little bit of glue, and just roll. That's the first one. And do the next one. And I'll be using four of these, two of each color.
and then use a generous amount of glue. And I glue a circle to the bottom to make sure it sticks good. And there she is.